David Jansen, David Jansen, born David Harold Meyer, March 27, 1931, February 13, 1980, was an American film and television actor who is best known for his starring role as Richard Kimball in the television series The Fugitive, 1963-1967. Jansen also had the title roles in three other series, Richard Diamond, Private Detective, Harry O, and O'Hara, U.S. Treasury. In 1996 TV Guide ranked him number 36 on its 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time list. Jansen was born in 1931 in Napanee, a village in Franklin County in southern Nebraska, to Harold Edward Meyer, a banker, May 12, 1906, November 4, 1990, and Bernice Groff, May 11, 1910, November 26, 1995. Jansen was of Irish and Jewish descent. Following his parents' divorce in 1935, his mother moved with five-year-old David to Los Angeles, California, and later married Eugene Jansen, February 18, 1918, March 30, 1996, in 1940 in Los Angeles. Young David used his stepfather's name after he entered show business as a child. He attended Fairfax High School in Los Angeles, where he excelled on the basketball court setting a school scoring record that lasted over 20 years. His first film part was at the age of 13, and by the age of 25 he had appeared in 20 films and served two years as an enlisted man in the United States Army. During his Army days, Jansen became friends with fellow enlistees Martin Milner and Clint Eastwood while posted at Fort Hort, California. Jansen appeared in many television series before he landed programs of his own. In 1956, he and Peter Breck appeared in John Bromfield's syndicated series Sheriff of Cochise in the episode The Turkey Farmers. Later, he guest starred on NBC's medical drama The Eleventh Hour in the role of Hal Kincaid in the 1962 episode Make Me a Place, with series co-stars Wendell Corey and Jack Jing. He joined friend Martin Milner in a 1962 episode of Route 66 as the character Kamo in the episode One Tiger to a Hill. Jansen starred in four television series of his own. At the time, the final episode of The Fugitive held the record for the greatest number of American homes with television sets to watch a series finale, at 72% in August 1967. David Jansen was well-liked by everyone, but more loved by his fans. He fit the perfect role of Why Me? One could not help feeling sorry for his fugitive character of being quiet, unassuming, afraid, but mainly caring for others. On an episode, he stopped to help an old lady cross the street, on another, he helped a young. Attractive woman start up her stalled car in the middle of nowhere. His films include To Hell and Back, the biography of Audie Murphy, who was the most decorated American soldier of World War II, John Wayne's Vietnam War film The Green Berets, opposite Gregory Peck in the space story Marooned, in which Jansen played an astronaut sent to rescue three stranded men in space, and The Shoes of the Fisherman, as a television journalist in Rome reporting on the election of a new pope, Anthony Quinn. He starred as a Los Angeles police detective trying to clear himself in the killing of an apparently innocent doctor in the 1967 film Warning Shot. The film was shot during a break in the spring and summer of 1966 between the third and fourth seasons of The Fugitive. Jansen played an alcoholic in the 1977 TV movie A Sensitive, Passionate Man, which co-starred Angie Dickinson, and an engineer who devises an unbeatable system for blackjack in the 1978 made-for-TV movie Nowhere to Run, co-starring Stephanie Powers and Linda Evans. Jansen's impressively husky voice was used to good effect as the narrator for the TV miniseries Centennial, 1978-79. He also appeared in the final episode. He starred in the made-for-TV miniseries SOS Titanic as John Jacob Astor, playing opposite Beverly Ross as his wife, Madeline, in 1979. Though Jansen's scenes were cut from the final release, he also appeared as a journalist in the film Inchun, which he accepted to work with Laurence Olivier who played General Douglas MacArthur. At the time of his death, Jansen had just begun filming a television movie playing the part of Father Damien, the priest who dedicated himself to the leper colony on the island of Molokai, Hawaii. The part was eventually reassigned to actor Ken Howard of the CBS series The White Shadow. In 1996 TV Guide ranked him number 36 on its 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time list. Jansen was married twice. His first marriage was to model and interior decorator Ellie Graham, whom he married in Las Vegas on August 25, 1958. They divorced in 1968. In 1975, he married actress and model Danny Crane Greco. 
they remained married until Jansen's death. A heavy drinker and a four-pack-a-day smoker, Jansen died of a heart attack in the early morning of February 13, 1980, at his home in Malibu, California at the age of 48. At the time of his death, Jansen was filming the television movie Father Damien. Jansen was buried at the Hillside Memorial Park Cemetery in Culver City, California. A non-denominational funeral was held at the Jewish Chapel of the cemetery on February 17. Suzanne Plachette delivered the eulogy at the request of Jansen's widow. Milton Berle, Johnny Carson, Tommy Gallagher, Richard Harris, Stan Herman, Rod Stewart and Gregory Peck were among Jansen's pallbearers. Honorary pallbearers included Jack Lemon, George Papard, James Stewart, and Danny Thomas. For his contribution to the television industry, David Jansen has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame located on the 7700 block of Hollywood Boulevard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.